First thing first, we are going to make the V-shape of the bandana. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 3. Next, for row 1, skip 1 chain and we are going to make single crochet. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now, you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Then we are going to make double crochet. To make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now, you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through of two loops. And yarn over, pull through of two loops again. In this pattern, we are going to make one single crochet and one double crochet. Row 2, chain 1. Remember, if your last row end with double crochet, so for your new row, must be start with single crochet. Turn your work and we are going to make single crochet into the next stitch near chain 1. After you have made single crochet, then make double crochet. And now we are going to make increase by make two stitches more into the same stitch with the poker shade. Like I said, single crochet and double crochet must be alternate with each other. After you have made double crochet, so make single crochet. For last stitch, make double crochet. So now you have three stitches in the same loop. Next, for row 3, we are going to repeat the same thing like row 2 and we are going to start with single crochet. Like I said, if your last row ends with double crochet, so for your new row must be start with single crochet. And we are going to repeat by 1 stitch with single crochet and 1 stitch with double crochet. Keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row and we are going to increase into the last stitch. Remember, for the increase, you must have 3 stitches in the same loop. For the next next row, we are going to repeat the same thing by chain 1 and start with single crochet. And we are going to repeat by mid 1 stitch with single crochet and 1 stitch with double crochet. Keep repeating this into every stitch until you have one last stitch and we are going to make increase by make 3 stitches in the same loop. You guys keep increasing until you reach your bust measurement. It is from one underarm to another underarm.
And now after you reach your desired fit, next we are going to make normal row without increasing anymore. Start from row 30 until row 40. It is equal 3.5 inches width. It is the height from under bust to upper bust. If you guys want it longer, you can add more rows. Next, we are going to make decrease. Start from row 41. Chain 2. Turn your work. And we are going to skip 2 stitches. And make single crochet. Remember, under single crochet must be double crochet stitch. And under the ball crochet stitch must be single crochet. Keep repeating by make one stitch with single crochet and one stitch with the ball crochet into every stitch until you have three last stitches and we are going to make decrease. And now after you got 3 last stitches, then we are going to make decrease by make 2 stitch in 1 stitch and for the last stitch, you must skip it. So my previous stitch is single crochet. For the next stitch, I have to make double crochet decrease. To begin, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through of 2 loops. And continue, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook. Like I said, for the last stitch, we are going to skip it. Then yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, for row 42, chain 2. Turn your work. And we are going to skip one stitch only. Then make double crochet. Like I said, if under stitch is single crochet, so above it must be double crochet. Keep repeating this until you have two last stitches, and we are going to make decrease by make two stitch in one stitch. So start from row 42 or the second row of decrease. We are not going to skip the last stitch anymore. And now my previous stitch is the ball crochet. So for the next stitch, we are going to make single crochet decrease by insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull throughout the loop. And now you got two loops on your hook and continue make the ball crochet decrease by yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through of 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through all 3 loops. Keep repeating row 42 until you reach row 45. It is equal 9 inches length after decrease. It is the size of my chest. So the size of my bust, it is equal 13 inches length. Make sure that the chest part is smaller than the bust part. If you make your own size, remember that you only minus 4 inches from your bust part. Example that your bust part, it is equal 20 inches length. So your chest part minus 4, it is equal 16 inches length. By keep decreasing until you reach 16 inches length. And now after you reach row 45, next we are going to make normal row for 3 rows without decrease and then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, 
Next, we are going to make the back part. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 2. Next, for row 1, make the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the row for row 2, chain 2, turn your work and make the ball crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. For the next next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 9. If you want it longer, please add more rows. I recommend that you don't have to make it too fit around your body because we have a back lace for adjust the size. After you reach the end of the roll, chain 1 and cut off the yarn.
Next, we are going to make the strap for the top. To begin, attach the yarn and make 300 chains. If you want it longer, please add more chains. Next, we are going to make v-neck shape or the ruche for the top. By fold the top into two pieces and we are going to wave the yarn into the middle part.
So now your roach bandana top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. Please stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.